Hello and welcome. When a course of training or a stage of education is successfully completed, it is usually marked with a graduation ceremony, which friends and family can also attend. The students' achievements are celebrated and they are presented with diplomas and graduation certificates. Such a reception awaits us all, namely, when we will one day be received in the beyond. Some people who have had a near-death experience describe being joyfully greeted by relatives and acquaintances in the world beyond, but they were then told that they had to return to their earthly life because they had not yet fulfilled their tasks in this world. Afterward, such people often ask themselves, what exactly is meant by these tasks? Because this was not made clear to them during their near-death experience. Well, perhaps life in this world is already enough of a task, insofar as we strive to do our best at our respective stations in life. Nothing will be demanded of us that we are unable to achieve within our own immediate surroundings. There are, however, people who spend their lives in service to others. And when such a person dies, those who knew them will think, this person has surely earned heaven. A deceased woman by the name of Magda was such a person, and she gave an account of her experiences through the well-known Swiss deep trance medium Beatrice Brunner on June 1, 1960. If you are unfamiliar with the terms mediumship and deep trance, you will find more information in the video displayed at the end of this video. Alternatively, you can follow the link in the description box below. Magda describes her reception in the world beyond, as well as her life and activities there. On Earth, she had led a busy life, working as a nurse, and she died after a short illness. She awoke in a beautiful garden in the world beyond, where she was lovingly cared for. She subsequently experienced a wonderful welcoming celebration that had been prepared in her honor. She was then shown her new surroundings. What is unusual about her account is that Magda was very interested in her new environment and desired to learn more about many aspects of it. As a result, she was able to give us detailed insights into life in the world beyond. At first, Magda was astonished that it was possible to travel from one place to another with such speed. She was then told about the nature of pathways and lanes in the world beyond. She also had a different experience of time. In the earthly world, people orient themselves according to days, weeks and years. But this sense of time no longer applies in the beyond. So, Magda became familiar with the different conditions that prevail there. After a period of acclimatization, Magda was given the task of helping to look after children. When a child has to leave the earthly world, they are led to an especially beautiful place where they are brought up alongside other children and further educated. Many valuable insights can be gained from Magda's descriptions. You can read an English translation of this fascinating personal account by following the link in the description box below.